up guys, it's Patriots Man here and I am back with another video. Today I'm going to talk about the NFL International promo for the games in London. So this is a promo that I don't think we've had before in Madden Mobile. And there's going to have four masters right here, so 495. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the promo, kind of just like give a brief overview, explain it, if anything is still confusing to anyone. And then after that, I'll go into the masters and you know, you know, show you how to get the masters, basically what you should do in order to get those and what the best value is within the trades and stuff. So let's go ahead through this. So there's Matt Hennessy, Jamal Agnew, uh, Xavier Howard, and Zach Wilson. So I'm gonna go over here, right to the promo, and here we go. So the map, they're gonna have six total events. So the team ones in the corner, so the Jets won, the Dolphins won, the Jaguars won, and the Falcons won. Let's take the Falcons one for example. Every day at 10.30 a.m. Eastern, you'll be able to play this on first win. Now on first win, you're going to get an epic collectible for that specific player, a rare collectible, an uncommon collectible, and then also some coins, XP, and hype. So the hype currency is important because that will get you more epic collectibles to help you through. So every day, you're technically going to get four epic collectibles, 600 hype, from those right there now your hype meter right all your hype it's going to go into here so this is basically a, a side currency that's just going to collect in this achievement when you get it so when i do my next thing and i get my next thing of hype whatever right it's going to add into here and i'm going to be able to get epic collectibles by getting the hype points so every day make sure you play through those now additionally they have the blitz events here so the blitz events they gave hype on the first win yesterday. I don't know if they give hype after that, but I believe that for now, um, you're not getting hype on every win. Let me just auto this to make sure that I'm right about that. So we auto and yeah, so no hype. So you only get the hype on the first wins for the blitz events. And I think it's possible that that is every day. Don't quote me on that. But for sure, the team events are gonna be resetting every day. And then you can do these blitz events up to 10 times and then reset them by either waiting for it to cool down or with Madden Cash. So there's that. So you play your events, you get collectibles mainly from that, and your Blitz will get where you'll get more collectibles. Now, here every day, you can uh, claim these chests here six times each. So there's an uncommon chest and there's also a rare. So every two hours after you get one, it's going to basically um, open up again so you can get it again up to six times a day. So we're gonna claim this now. And it gives you the collectible with a chance at more collectibles. So I get one uncommon there, so nothing lucky there. And then here, it's one uncommon. And then with a chance at a rare collectible, which is 25%, and then a 1% chance at an epic collectible. So we open this up, and we do hit the 25% chance on the rare. Now, I think how it works is that you can actually upgrade your treasure chest. It says upgrade two rank one international uncommon players on your lineup. So all those four, those four uncommons right there, if you get either of those, or you get two of those onto your lineup, you're gonna be able to upgrade this uncommon treasure chest. So I probably should be doing that. I haven't done that yet. And then similar thing over here with the rares. If you have two of, of those rank one international rare players on your lineup, you're gonna end up getting an upgraded version of this that's gonna give you a higher chance at some more collectibles, right? So. Here we are, so that's basically it for that. Now let's go to trades and explain this, right? So, all these here, Jamal Agnew, Matt Hennessy, Zabian Howard, and Zach Wilson. These are your specific things right here where you're gonna be completing the player. So you'll see, for example, Jamal Agnew that I'm working on. You get 95 overall card, you get one rare player, and the rare player has a chance to upgrade to an epic international player. Now yesterday when I completed this Jamal Agnew trade right here, I got Jamal Agnew, but I also pulled the 95 overall Pat Hennessy, which is a, or Matt Hennessy, which is the center, right? So basically, I got two 95s for the price of one, and I'm gonna keep going for Jamal Agnew because I want to rank him up to hopefully rank three by the end of this two-week promo, and then after that, of course, we most feared. But back to this, so you're gonna see you need 2,120 of those collect or of those points to complete the trade to get a master. So what you want to do, so get all your epic collectibles, right? So 20. So 20 here at 50 a piece. 
That's going to be 1,000. So you have to get the specific one. So um, Jamal Agnew. Uh, get all the Jamal Agnew ones. If you're going for Jamal Agnew, say you're going for Matt Hennessy. When you get those select epic collectible packs, make sure you're selecting Matt Hennessy. And then at some point, you'll have all those for your specific ones. And then you can go right into the any one. So here, um, basically put in 20 more right here. And boom, you'll have 2,000, right? So 40 epic collectibles total will give you 2,000 out of 2,120. Now the rest of that can either come from rare or uncommon. So it's really up to you, right? When you get these epics, you want to do this epic collectible select here, of course. Put in five rares, any rare collectibles, and boom. So we'll do this right now. So you put in five here, and since I'm going for Jamal Agnew, I'm going to select a Jamal Agnew. So boom right here. Pick the one that you need first because those will help you along because you need 20 of any of them and then 20 of the specific one that would help you out. So I'm going to do that. Boom. And there you go. So you can put in rares as well to finish it out. So it'll be eight more, right? 120. 120 left after you do the epics. So you'll need basically 40 epic collectibles and 15 rare collectibles in order to complete this. So that's a good method right there. You want to go ahead and make sure you get your epics first. Get your specific ones because that's going to help you in your trade progress. You're not going to be able to complete this without getting a larger amount of epic collectibles. So I would make sure you're choosing the right ones and making sure that you're on track with this. So you're going to have plenty of time to get these masters. You can get maybe more than one free to play. Um, I haven't done the math, but of course, um, if you stay on top of it, you could get you know more than one master. You could rank up a master to rank two, however you want to do it. So that is that. Now there's also the ability just to rank up international rare players and uncommons so if you have a rare player that you like or an uncommon from this promo you can also just do this and it gives you a pack here where you can select any uncommon or for the rare one select any rare out of four for the promo so for these you just need rare collectibles a bunch of specific rare collectibles so pay attention to which ones you need and then of course you can put in more rares and uncommons sort of like the masters so yeah, that's basically how the trades are broken down. You'll see there, it's, it's basically broken up into different tiers of players. So go for what you want, really. But for the Masters, I'm going for Jamal Agnew. That's what I'm going to go for. And of course, make sure when you're trying to trade up in collectibles, the rare one is worth it because in the end, an epic collectible is worth 50 points per card for a trade. And when you put in the rares here, it's only eight points per card. So you're building an epic collectible for 40, and then when you put it into a set, it goes for 50. So this is a good trade. And then of course, if you need more rare collectibles, you can definitely put in your uncommons and get yourself some rare ones. So I'll do that right now for that. But yeah, there is that. Now also in the store, the packs really aren't too bad in the store for this. So if we head over to the store for this, if you have Madden caps that you've accumulated free to play or whatever, um, you can actually get these packs here. You can get 20 uncommons for 250 cash. You can pull masters in the pack, so it's pretty good. I know this 1,000 one isn't that bad. You get an uncommon, um, uncommon player, uncommon plus select, and then you also get 18 rare plus collectibles. So it's actually pretty good because you can pull epics, epic collectibles in this pack, as well as the master, of course. So yeah, there is that guy. So that is everything in the NFL International promo. I might have more videos out on this, we'll have to see. But that is it for this one, guys. So the NFL International promo is, of course, here. Uh, let me know what master you guys are going for, if you're going for any masters. But that'll be it, guys. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.